Stokes we're backstage here at the 2012 Q Awards. I've just been joined by Nicky White from Manic Street Preachers. He's won Q's Classic Album Award for Generation Terrace. Congratulations. Yeah, it's real sweet actually, 20 years. Our sixth Q Award. I think we've pretty much had a clean sweep now. Did you expect 20 years ago when you made that record you'd be doing reissues and getting awards for it? I think me and, uh, and the beautiful and wonderfully missed, you know, really missed Richie. Um, I think me and him probably thought we wouldn't, but I think James and Sean were proper musicians, so yeah, they might have seen more of a career in it. What do you remember about recording that record? I just remember it being a brilliant time all around, you know, me and Richie sitting down, writing lyrics together, such like a special and in intense relationship we had, you know, and then getting in the back of van, it sounds like all like a cliche now, doesn't it? But um, the four of us just, to come from the same little school in Wales and actually sort of live out your dream, I think we wrote the myth and then we lived it out. You know, it's usually the other way around. Now, obviously, there's a reissue of the album coming out. Does that mean you've had to listen to it a lot recently? Yeah, listening to it then, it sounded so fucking dated and mental and rock, <laughs> which I kind of like. I like the fact that um, some bands, Pistols, Arctic Monkeys, you know, they come out of the box and make classic debut albums. We were more interested in making a grand folly, really. And um, the only downside is just Miss Richie so much on these occasions because he'd never had a chance, really to kind of celebrate or get rewarded for the amazing art that he produced, you know. And is that a satisfying thing? Because obviously there were bold statements made when you released that record, playing in Balaclavas. Is it great to sort of see it surviving on and still having an impact? It is, yeah. We, we, were, um, we were in South Korea a couple of weeks a couple of weeks back and, you know, to see the reaction of Motorcycle Endless. We've never ever been to this country before, but we still do Slash and Burn, You Love Us, Motorcycle, Little Babe Nothing. Obviously, I think... Sometimes we're associated with the darker side of Holy Bible or the sort of gigantic side of everything must go. But for a lot of Mannix fans, the sense of fun on Generation Terrace of Nat West Barclays, Midlands Lloyds, you know, and I think it kind of makes people feel warm inside, you know. And just finally, obviously looking ahead, any thoughts about another record? I understand you want to do something bold this time. Well, I think we got to, you know, we've had a great run, send away the Tigers through to postcards from a young man. And, but we've got to really excite and stimulate ourselves and our fans. So we've got lots of songs done. You know, one's very European sounding, one's very delicate and folktronic at the moment. But I think we'll leave it another year because people just need to feel like we've been away a bit. Thanks, well, congratulations on your award. Well done. It's a pleasure. This one's for you, Rich.